and storm spotters reported the tornado was at least a mile wide as it barreled toward town. The tornado's path stretched over 100 miles. Truly a devastating situation in Mississippi. And Jordan, what made this tornado different from other tornadoes in that it caused so much damage and loss of life? Well, let's think about what happened in Alabama first. If we think about what happened in North Alabama, nothing got to our neck of the woods until uh, 10, 11 o'clock at night. That's a good four to five hours after the sunset. When the sunset, uh, you automatically begin to lose a lot of that energy that is gained through the course of the afternoon. That wasn't the case in Mississippi. In the case of Mississippi, those storms arrived uh, hours prior, which allowed for kind of this perfect combination of meteorological parameters to line up uh, that were conducive for the development of strong and severe thunderstorms. I also saw a couple of different reports um, online that this storm uh, was a wedge tornado. I'm going to walk over to my monitor and I want to talk about that uh, for just a brief second. There's a couple of different types of tornadoes and I've only highlighted three. There's typically five main types of tornadoes and I'm only highlighting three of them. A rope tornado, a cone tornado, and a wedge tornado. A rope tornado simply put, it's kind of long and lanky. It's really skinny. They can still be really dangerous, but they're kind of long, lanky, and skinny. A cone tornado is, well, if you Google a picture of a tornado, you're going to get a cone tornado. Uh, but I've seen a couple of different articles that identify the tornado that moved through Mississippi uh, as a wedge tornado. Now, a wedge tornado um, is kind of a rare tornado. They don't happen very often. Why? Because uh, they're typically massive tornadoes. They're as wide at the ground as they are tall. So if we kind of put that into numbers and we're just going to use simple numbers here. If you think of a tornado as one mile tall, then it's going to be at least uh, one mile wide on the ground. So they typically do uh, a lot of damage. Now, fortunately for us across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee, we didn't see that level of destruction. We did, however, have four confirmed tornadoes across the Tennessee Valley. The first was Lawrence and Morgan counties. It was an EF2 with sustained winds or peak winds of 115 miles per hour. Now, on Unfortunately, that tornado did result in one fatality. We had another tornado in Morgan County, 1247 to 1250 this morning. It was an EF1 with maximum winds of 94 miles per hour. We had another confirmed tornado, another confirmed EF2 tornado in Lauderdale County. It was an EF2. It had maximum winds of 120 miles per hour. And then lastly, up to southern middle Tennessee we go. We had one confirmed EF2 tornado in Lincoln County, 11 p.m., 1159. 9 p.m. last night to 12.05 a.m. this morning. It had maximum winds of 118 yards and a maximum width of 300 yards. It was a short-lived tornado. It only had uh, a path length of right around four miles.